it's Monday morning and just thought I'd show you um, the wall to start off the creative studio vlog this week. Um, I've given it the purple and the pink another coat because it was a bit streaky and I've just started, I'm just going to start on the, the details. So used a bit of white to give a little bit of highlight to the cheek because that's how all my um, characters look and I'm just going to kind of do some highlights in the in the hair and then I'm going to do some black outlining so that's how we're starting off this creative week so it's finished pretty much finished practically finished um I'll turn the camera around in a bit but um I've done all my black outlines and things <laughs> so what have I learned from doing a massive massive project like this a few things actually one is um, try not to have your very excited child around at the same time in which you're painting because they don't... Oh, I thought I was done from paint then. Um, because they don't necessarily appreciate the time in which it takes to create something this big. Like, she she was like, is it done yet? 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 Um, so that's the first thing. Um, she was very excited to paint, which was fine. Did let her paint. It is her bedroom. Um, so kind of like down towards the bottom um, there she did like some painting so she felt like she was included in the process at the end of the day it is her bedroom and she was very excited so we felt that it was important to let her have some creative input she chose the colours she chose the colours, some of my favourite colours, which is I'm like really excited about, but she chose the colours and she helped to paint. So, um, you know, it's her, her room. She had some creative choice as well. Um, I was about to go second, but I think, I don't know. Um, my hand is perhaps not as steady as I originally thought it was. Um, some of my black lines are a little bit wobbly, but I think it kind of adds to the uniqueness of it. <laughs> oh my god oh my god um yeah so uh <laughs> using gold like golden the golden gold on the on the on the horn the best decision ever it shines absolutely beautifully really pleased with that um little one wanted glitter and um i did buy some spray glitter and i did um this is like a rainbow spray glitter and i had really high hopes for this this is from bought it from home base um I had really high hopes for it and we did do a tester down on um the bottom cloud and it just made the wall it didn't it wasn't very glittery at all and I sprayed quite a bit on it just kind of made it look a bit dirty so um I ended up I wasn't going to paint over the clouds because the clouds are on a white wall um but ended up painting the cloud because it then looked dirty because the glitter someone is still quite obsessed with having glitter on the on on the wall so I might just use some PVA and chuck some glitter at the at the wall once all of the paint is like properly dry might do that um we also bought some glow in the dark paint because she wants glow in the dark stars um so probably gonna do like loads on the ceiling and then kind of like cascade them a few um a few down the wall or something i don't know i've never used glow in the dark paint either so we'll do like a bit of a bit of, do a bit of a tester this is all bro this is all like all very new to me but it's absolutely fine i've enjoyed doing it she absolutely loves it and i've learned quite a lot i've never ever painted anything on this scale before so that was a big test for me um uh, what else have i learned brushes are important just as important on the wall as they are in a journal i bought some cheap wall brushes and they were pretty crap so i actually ended up using some of my brushes that i use for painting like acrylic stuff um and yeah so it took probably twice as long but the brushes i used were like really soft so they looked a lot nicer um the house paint has like a different kind of finish to it than the i used the um dilutions on the teal that was pretty good after one coat i did do a second coat just to make sure it wasn't too streaky the house paint needed three coats particularly this purple that was really streaky um so the tester pots were £1.50 each and the purple I used like two could really perhaps done with with three so 
yeah, so I think that's all I've learned. Oh, and secondly, I don't, I realise that I don't actually paint standing up. I'm normally, I'm either, um, if I'm painting, painting, I'm usually sitting at my desk. If I'm drawing and stuff, I'm usually either at my desk or, um, on the sofa so standing up to paint was quite interesting as well because obviously you have to watch for the drips and also it made my hand less steady when it came to the came to the black line so it's been a really good like learning creative learning experience for me um to do this so um basically if she gets bored of this it's tough she's having this until she's 20 <laughs> um and then if she wants it we're moving because <laughs> i think painting over these colors just be like oh, nightmare but I'll turn the camera around so you can see it properly. Okay. Look at the shine on that horn. That is pretty epic. Um, I can't, this is quite a small room and I can't actually get too far back to show you properly, but um, there you go. And her chest of drawers has now been like moved over here and stuff, so. But yeah, that's, that's what it looks like, folks. That's what it looks like. And something occurred to me when I was painting it. I don't know if you remember in the 90s, Bang on the Door. Do you remember Bang on the Door, the artwork? Um, I suddenly got reminded of that. And it's really interesting because I used to love Bang on the Door products when I was younger and the colour scheme and everything. And bearing in mind, like, my small person chose the colour scheme and things, I just find it quite interesting how, like, how much it looks like a 90s bang on the door thing with like the black lines and the the black lines that was me that was me put black lines on and when I got the black out little one was like I don't like black I like pink but um I like the way it's outlined in black she does now too which is lucky <laughs> how lucky um bum, bum, bum. so yeah I just kind of thought wow it's really like bang on the door like but yeah it's lunchtime now, John's just downstairs with Litlin, and so I'm gonna go and have some lunch and congratulate myself on, on finishing this. Hey guys, it's Saturday evening. It's like half past eight, and I'm in bed, like, goosey. <laughs> I know, like, is that weird, like, vlogging from my bed? I don't know, but this light is so bright it's oh and in front of the camera good vlogging and nothing this is really unflattering but i'm just gonna roll with it so haven't really picked up the well i haven't picked up the camera since monday um because today was um jingle and mingle so for those of you who don't know i organized an event called jingle and mingle for like the Planner, crafty community, and Jingle and Mingle is, as the name would probably suggest, Christmas themed. Um, and yeah, I'm exhausted. So it's been a long day and a long week, and that's why I haven't picked up the camera because I haven't like necessarily done anything that's kind of vlog worthy. I don't know. It probably would have been vlog worthy. But it's quite difficult sometimes to think about vlogging when you're really be busy and in kind of like the like full swing of things, you know. So, yeah. <laughs> I'm just like exhausted now. So, yeah, the week was kind of like printing and cutting stuff, like shop stuff. And packing up the shop and finishing off all the organising for the event and everything. The event was absolutely amazing. If you follow me on Instagram, you may have seen some highlights in the Instagram stories. I've got tons of photos this year. Last year, I totally forgot to take photos. This year, I took loads of photos and John did some videoing as well. So I'll try and like put it all together and do a vlog, like an event vlog for you guys. So you can like have a look at what we got up to and everything. Um... But I just wanted to like pop on really and just kind of like debrief. It was just amazing. Like everybody, it, oh, I just love it. It's so relaxed. It's so relaxed. The atmosphere is lovely. We had, we had about 45, 50 people. I haven't done the final count like from the, from the login sheet. Um, 45, 50 people. Um, and it was just really relaxed. We had loads of lovely stalls selling their wares. Really relaxed atmosphere, three crafty workshops, Christmassy workshops, loads of people like 
learnt new techniques I didn't know about or they use like new suppliers they haven't used before and it was just such a chilled out lovely 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 event so I just wanted to like while I was fresh and everything uh, pop in I'm really shiny because <laughs> I had like rosy I had cheeks with red made of red glitter and I've had to scrub them off my face so I'm a bit shiny um, I've got M&M's in bed. <laughs> I'm going to, I'm not sure if I'm going to watch YouTube or I'm going to read my book with my pack of M&M's. Well deserved, you guys, I think. Um, John's not here, so that's why I'm like in bed. I hope I, I was just, you know, when you're just tired and you just want to get snuggled, little ones asleep and um, John's out. It's his brother's 40th birthday and he's gone out with his brother and mates for drinks dinner thing so bless him he's absolutely exhausted as well because like basically he did all the work today like he did all the lugging of the boxes and everything packing the van unpacking the van manning my stall that boy he worked so hard today I'm so grateful for him and I just did all the like schmoozing really and talking to people and just enjoying myself I didn't like take part in the craft workshops but I was just like going around talking to people and looking what everyone else was up to and stuff. So I kind of just like chatted all day while he did all the work. <laughs> he loves it. <laughs> he loves it. So yeah, that boy, he's worked hard and now he's gone out. He's tired, but he's gone out just to kind of like support his brother kind of thing. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to chill out now. I might pop a couple of photos in here and then, yeah, as I said, I'll probably do a vlog um, like an event roundup. I've got an amazing secret Santa present, so I'll probably show you that tomorrow because that's downstairs. And yeah. Oh, weird light. I went like that. Oh, what have I done? Like weird light. Woo, weird. Anyway. Nighty night. Hey guys, a long time no vlog. It's the 1st of December. Got the tree up, cut the tree up. Yeah, it's been, um, this week has been quite manic again. Um, so last week it was all manic, 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 prepping for the show and doing the show and everything. This week has been, um, John has been really, really busy doing printing and cutting and sorting out orders from the Black Friday weekend sales, which thank you so much to everybody who has ordered from us. That, it just, yeah, it just means a lot. And thank you so much. Um, yeah, so he's been doing that. And um, the December collection, the Brimbles boxes, they go out um, Monday the 3rd. Um, so yeah, John has just been working like, flat out it's evening time and he's up there now so he has been flat out working on those so I actually haven't done any work this week like you know I've done a couple of sketches for my patreons like in the evenings when I have you know when I can um like it's the evening time now it's half past seven now I am actually gonna sit down and start working on my December daily because I really really want to do that this year and succeed at that so Yep. Um, so yeah, it's um juggling act. <laughs> but I just thought I'd like, you know, I haven't totally abandoned this vlog. It's just been crazy, crazy busy. Good, good crazy busy, but you know, crazy busy. This is my little box of tricks. You've probably um seen this before on previous vlogs. It's a little little suitcase, it's like a cardboard suitcase. Got it a couple of years ago. Um, from TK Maxx, um, <clears throat> so it's a handy little, handy dandy little thing. Um, I've got my photos which I have printed out on my Canon selfie, which I can't show you because I've got my little one's face in. But um, 
what I would do is um, I will do like a flip through of my December daily album journal. I will probably do like a halfway and then a completed one. That's what I think I'm going to do. Um, and I've got my staples here. Some good old Pritt stick, which is like glue that I run to all the time. Um, and my Edding handwriter pen, which I absolutely adore. Door. it's so smooth it's brilliant love it i've got some <laughs> packaging here i'm not sure if i'm, I'm going to use them or not because the cardboard is really really thick um <clears throat> so we'll see but i rather than chuck it in the bin i cut some of the, it down because we've had mince pies today <coughs> excuse me i've got a tickle in my throat so i've got i saved those because um i might like to put those in my um in my journal now this is quite messy um i haven't sorted it out from last year's december daily stuff all i have done is look at that is that lovely all i've done is just added more stuff to it uh, yeah there's stuff all over my floor look because we've been decorated today and yes um so i've got i shoved in <laughs> shoved it in um this is my um jingly jumpers collection um Oh, so I just chucked it in here. The planner stickers I'll probably put in my planner, but um, I wanted to use like my word label stickers, and um, I've also got the can't find them now. The illustration stickers, wherever they may be. Oh, so I've got washi tape strips. There we go. So I want to use them, and I've got the cards there, and I've got my the journal cards and the die cuts and the tabs so i'll probably use them um i've also raided um so that's my if you haven't seen this is what i'm using this year for my december daily um there's a whole video on me making this this is the first time i ever used this machine um yeah it's rustic shall we say and uh, <coughs> excuse me i've got a real <coughs> tickle i feel like i'm getting a cold um it's rustic shall we say but i still like it and it's full of mix of papers and things um and so i've just been <laughs> i've just been in the stock room <laughs> that sounds really posh but like, it's just been in the spare room and raided some stock i've got leftover stuff in here from last last year as i said um but i've also grabbed some of these um word label stickers as, as well because i really love <coughs> <coughs> oh dear me <coughs> sorry about that i really really love using word label stickers against my photos and i've also just grabbed some other stickers out of stock like i used these last year but i flipping adore them so i am gonna use them um, and I've grabbed these out of stock, and I've grabbed these out of stock, and I've grabbed these out of stock. I love enamel dots so badly. I think I'm probably the only person in the world that loves them. Um, <laughs> I don't know, loads of people love them. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna just be working on my December daily, so you can look out to see some flip through videos of this little beaut um, coming to the channel real soon. Just catching snippets of work like wherever I wherever and whenever I can. So it's Sunday and we've just been out for, for a really really nice walk in the woods and gathered like foliage and things. Um it's been really really lovely. And um we're now at a park for a little one to have a bit of a play and while she's doing that I'm doing some sketching because I really am a little bit getting a little bit behind in some of my work um so yeah I'm sketching 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 I'm working on the January collection right now I think it's gonna be sloths because I kind of feel inspired by sloths um and yeah I was it's one of those things that like I never really just so I'm sketching while I'm talking to you uh, I'll turn it around I never really like thought of sloths particularly or anything. And then, um, was it November? I think it was. Um, I I always ask my um, Patreons if they have any um, requests for their collage sheets. And someone asked for a sloth. And since then, like, I've, I, I found a load of beautiful photos of sloths. 
and um, since then I've kind of like been obsessed a bit by sloths um, so yeah I thought I would <laughs> do a sloth themed collection so there is the beginnings of said collection having some worky time it's Thursday and Litland's with her grandparents so I am just kind of lining out my drawings I showed you these that I did um the other day in the van I think I can't remember now I'm losing track um so yeah I'm just outlining them and I know I shall photograph them and edit them in photoshop I am just using the Stadler um pigment liner in brown um I fancied doing it in brown so it's not so um so it's a high enough contrast from the white in order to be able to um to photograph it well and remove all the background and everything but a subtler subtler than black um so yeah that's what I'm currently doing um for now so i'm feeling all christmasy and festive right now love a good snapchat filter so you just have a look at all the snapchat filter you know what i mean so yeah i love a good snapchat filter but they can get a wee bit annoying can't they in terms of the voice. Anyway, I thought I'd do like a face-to-face -face bit for a minute here. God, I'm in my bedroom, really bad shadows. We have very um, ambient, very low lighting. And then I have my um, uh, table lamp on, which is cast really harsh shadows. Anyhow, that you're not here for home decor, I don't think. <laughs> um, so anyway, I thought I would just like end this vlog, to be honest with you, because I think it's like, I don't know, I'm still going to put it out there because I have still got footage that I want to share with you. But I just sort of feel like it's kind of incohesive and not really going anywhere. Because um, at the moment I'm like catching snippets of time here and there. So there isn't really anything to share with you majorly. So I'm actually thinking of making this the last studio, lo studio vlog of 2018. Oh, 2018. Um, and yeah, so I'm going to be just kind of like doing festive things. Um, I've got... I've got loads of ideas for videos um there's, there's me hello me um i have loads of ideas for videos like roundup videos and start like roundup of the year start of the year videos like i always do i've got loads of those i want to do i just need to find the time in which to do them um i'm also in full swing like enjoying christmas we're doing lots of christmasy things and crafts and all that kind of stuff so so yeah it's kind of a bit of a squeeze at the moment I'm getting like fitting it all in um so rather than making like a bit of a weird vlog i'd rather just end it and then start start the new year concentrate on christmas and rounding everything up and then start the new year with um studio vlogs again so the studio vlogs aren't going they will be back once i'm once i'm back in the swing of working and everything they'll they'll be they'll be back um so yes i thought i'd end it here as i said oh god i'm repeating myself do you know do you ever just feel like that way do you just feel like you just repeat yourself sometimes um <laughs> I thought I'd say that like I haven't been doing vlogmas this year as you can see um I have been helping John out with vlog vlogmas we've been doing a bit of a joint vlogmas thing over on his channel the link is in the details of the video below but his channel is wholesome day so if you do want to see like some vlogmas day in the life stuff from us then you can check that out I just didn't really feel like I had the time to dedicate to doing like proper vlogging every day so um so yeah but we've been doing it a bit little bits together so if you fancy some vlogmas type content then go and check out his channel um yeah so that's it from me for vlog studio vlogs but i shall be uploading more videos over the rest of the month i hope you're having a wonderful christmas festive season and see you soon bye guys